All the night sleep came not upon my eyelids, shed not dew, nor shook unclosed a feather. Yet with lips shut close and with eyes of iron stood and beheld me. Then to me, so lying awake, a vision came without sleep over the seas and touched me, softly touched mine eyelids and lips, and I too, full of vision, saw the white implacable Aphrodite, saw her hair unbound and feet unsandaled, shine as fire of sunset on western waters, saw the reluctant feet, the straining plumes of doves that drew her, looking always, looking with necks reverted back to Lesbos, back to the hills where under shone Mytilene, heard the flying feet of loves behind her, make a sudden thunder upon the waters, as the thunder flung from strong unclosing wings of a great wind. So the goddess fled from her place, with awful sound of feet and thunder of wings around her, while behind a clamor of singing women severed the twilight. Ah, the singing, ah, the delight, the passion, all the loves wept, listening, sick with anguish, stood the crowned nine muses about Apollo, fear was upon them, while the tenth sang wonderful things they knew not. Ah, the tenth, the lesbian, the nine were silent, none endured the sound of her song for weeping. Laurel by laurel faded all their crowns, but about her forehead, round her woven tresses and ashen temples, white as dead snow, paler than grass in summer, ravaged with kisses, shone a light of fire as a crown for ever. Yea, almost the implacable Aphrodite paused, and almost wept. Such a song was that song, yea, by her name too, calling her, saying, Turn to me, O my Sappho, Yet she turned her face from loves, she saw not tears from laughter darken immortal eyelids, heard not about her fearful, fitful wings of doves departing, saw not how the bosom of Aphrodite shook with weeping, saw not her shaken raiment, saw not her hands wrung, saw the lesbians kissing across their smitten lutes with lips more sweet than sound of lute strings. Mouth to mouth and hand upon hand her chosen, fairer than all men, only saw the beautiful lips and fingers, full of songs and kisses and little whispers, full of music, only beheld among them soar, as a bird soars newly fledged, her visible song a marvel, made of perfect sound and exceeding passion, sweetly shapen, terrible, full of thunders, clothed with wind's wing. Then rejoiced she, laughing with love, and scattered roses, awful roses of holy blossom. Then the loves thronged sadly with hidden faces round Aphrodite. Then the muses, stricken at heart, were silent. Yea, the gods waxed pale. Such a song was that song. All reluctant, all with fresh repulsion, fled from her. All withdrew long since, and the land was barren, Full of fruitless women and music only. Now perchance, when winds are assuaged at sunset, Lulled at the dewfall by the grey seaside, Unassuaged, unheard of, unbeloved, Unseen in ebb of twilight, Ghosts of outcast women return lamenting, Purged not in Lethe clothed about with flame and with tears, and singing songs that move the heart of shaken heaven, songs that break the heart of earth with pity, hearing to hear them.